Hey guys, Kill the Movie King, and back again with another movie review, and today I'm reviewing Found Footage 3D. Okay, so Found Footage 3D, I've heard about this movie for a while now. Um, there's, there's sometimes I get into these moods where I just want to watch found footage movies, and there's times when I end up going on Google and typing, like, the best found footage movies, and these, this movie pops up all the time. Now, it was hard for me to get this movie. I, I tried looking on Amazon to rent it. It was never there, but recently... It became a Shutter exclusive, so I am um, a member of Shutter, so I decided to check it out. A lot of people said a lot of positive things about it. I think it was screening at some like horror con or some fest that Bruce Campbell was um, a part of. Not sure what it was. If you guys know, let me know down below. But um, it was something that he was hosting. Even in the movie, they have like a little like you can see that they're. It's kind of like a kid kiss ass kind of thing not not really but you know they're showing their respect to Bruce Campbell because you know they hail to the king um that was pretty cool though but um anyways the movie is about these group of friends that that want to make a found footage movie that's better than all the average found footage movies because you know found footage movies suck they, they feel like nowadays they just suck. The best ones have been like Blair Witch. I mean, that, that's what they do. They don't mention Blair Witch, but you kind of get the idea. I mean, they, they say enough that you know they're talking about Blair Witch. Um, but the, the thing they want to do, the gimmick they want to do, is not just the found footage. They want to make it in 3D. So they got themselves 3D cameras, and they're coming up with this concept about a house, that the killer was in there, and yada, yada, yada. The thing is, strange things start to happen, like the typical found footage movie, and yeah, that's all I'm really going to say. Okay, now, this movie, when it was shown at this festival, or whatever it was shown at, it, it, it was shot in, it was in 3D. So, I never saw it in 3D, I don't got a 3D TV, so I have no idea how good it must have been in 3D. But maybe it did do well in 3D. It looked great on 3D. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna review that or put any of my opinion about that because I never saw that. But I saw the 2D version, and what I gotta say, there's some good and bad. The good, it's kind of. I mean, it's it's like a satire. It's kind of like making fun of like found footage movies, which is. Um, which brought kind of like it was it had some funny moments about it. I mean, I didn't laugh out loud or anything like that, but it was kind of funny and uh, amusing some of the things they were saying about found footage movies. So, I mean, I understand it's it, it's a satire on on that, I would say. But the problem with the movie that I had was one I didn't like any of the characters, okay? Um the, the main guy that's trying to make this found footage movie, he's an asshole. And yeah, I know he's supposed to be, but nobody was really likable at all in the movie. Uh, another good, there's some good gore. And usually in found footage movies, we know there's not that much, there's pr probably barely any gore. I mean, usually you just see, like, ah, oh, the camera shakes and someone flies away or someone falls down or da 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 da. But the, the, they, there is some really good gore here. Um, not like top notch like The Thing or anything like that. No, or not like Day of the Dead. Nothing like that. Or anything that Tom Savini has done. No, no, no. But there's good gore for a found footage movie. The problem with this movie, in my opinion, on my opinion, and I've seen a lot of movies, and maybe it's because I never watched it in 3D. It's basically like the next freaking found footage movie that you saw like paranormal activity or or i mean I don't know, the gallows or all these chernobyl diaries that can go on and on it doesn't do anything unique it it, it it doesn't i mean yeah they may say little jokes here and there about like found footage movies and like you know pay homage to like bruce campbell hail to the king yeah that's cool that's cool but i can do that right now too doesn't make me different than any other goddamn re YouTube reviewer out there. And I'm not trying to make this into a rant. I'm really not trying to make this to a, into a rant. But the problem is, like, this movie has a lot of people saying positive things about it. And maybe it's because it was the 3D. Maybe it, it was awesome in 3D. Who knows? But in t 2D, 
for 2D. This movie was just blah. And if it didn't have any of the gore, I probably would have gave my of uh, the middle finger to this movie. It was the gore was it, it was you know caught me caught me off guard. I didn't expect that because it was a found footage movie. So I didn't expect the gore would come out like that, or some of the kills were being as brutal as they were. But okay, I'm gonna spoil something here. So stop it right now if you don't want to hear any spoilers. But I'm gonna say something. The ghost, there's a ghost in this movie. It kind of looks like. I'll say this. It kind of looks like Toby from the version of uh, Ghost Dimension mixed with like a retarded Frighteners. You remember in the Frighteners, the little Grim Reaper or whatever? You know when it's just flying around like... It looks like that. Like mix those together and that's what you got. That, that's the ghost. I mean, it's just a black blobby thing that flies around. Um, so it's corny. I, I mean, I don't know. I didn't even really want to spoil this movie, but it's just like, I just want to warn you guys out there, like, don't go into this movie thinking it's going to be the greatest found footage movie, because it's not. Now, people, if you think it's the greatest found footage movie you saw in, 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 for a while, then, then kudos. I mean, that's cool, and everybody got the right to their opinion, but, damn. Damn. I don't know. I, I was really looking forward to this because I heard a lot of good things about this movie. And I've been looking for this movie for a while. So when it was a Shutter exclusive, I was just like... And then I watched it, I was just like, really? This is it? This is like the same found footage movie I've seen like millions of damn times. It's nothing unique. It's nothing you... You want to know something unique? Movies like Creep and um, uh, uh, As Above, Down Below. You're saying, oh, no, I, no, as it's bound down below, come on, it's unique. And one reason, one, one reason I have to say, uh, one reason, it does not end with a cheap jump scare. Because if you really think about all found footage movies, they always end where the person goes, ah, and that's how it ends. Or the person, the camera's done, and they look away, then, ah, as above, down below, had a great ending, a good, ha happy ending. That's, come on, that's rare with a found footage movie. That caught me off guard. That's something unique. This is not unique. Maybe the 3D aspect of it was unique. I don't know, but I didn't watch it in 3D. I don't want to keep on ranting because I'm about to explode. But anyways, I am giving this movie a D minus. That's right, I'm giving Final Fantasy 3D a D minus. Um, it would I would have got an F if it wasn't for the gore. The the gore did entertain me, so I can't lie. There was something that did entertain me. I didn't like the characters. I I didn't care about the movie. The movie was just blah. I didn't care about the little like you know homages to this horror movie, that horror movie, to the other horror I don't care about that. I can do that right now. It doesn't make me unique or anything. I'm sorry. Anyways, this is Kill the Movie King. Signing off.